Hey everyone, welcome. All right, let's go ahead and let's get started. This is going to be for um, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. All right, let's see what's coming you guys this way. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Oh, wow. Within this year, you may find yourself with options in love in which you will have to make the decision to choose between two or more suitors. Two or more suitors. Oh, we got here. Tap into your intuition and beware of the people around you at this time. Someone is not who they portray themselves to be. Okay, I'm not taking all of that. Let's just get one more though. Okay, I'll take the top one. Alright, so it says here, within this year there will be reconciliation with someone from your past. All right, so let's first start with these uh, this suitors. Because it says here, within this year, you got two or more. And if you go watch my previous reading, I talked about you guys having uh, more options in love. Okay, this year, before the end of this year, you're going to have yourself, uh, finding yourself rather, with options in love. Then we have here someone, it says, tap into your intuition. Okay, you're going to have to go with your intuition on this. The Spirit is saying, be wary of the people around you because there is someone that is around you that is not who they portray themselves to be. And then you have here someone from the past that's coming back to reconcile with you. Don't know who this person is. We'll look at that. But let's first see what's going on with love. Because it says, finding yourself with more options in love. All right. Tell me about cancers finding themselves with um, two or more suitors in love. We got here, you're going to be opening up more. The four of pentacles is in reverse. So you could have been closed off and resistant towards love because maybe you've had some previous let setbacks or letdowns when it comes to love, right? So you could have been resistant to um, being more vulnerable and being more open when it comes to love. But there are going to be people coming into your life and maybe even just because of the work that you're going to be doing on yourself, you may find yourself being a little bit more open um, to love, being more open to going out and not even putting so much as, uh, you know, the just going with the flow, right? Not having these intense connections and just be more being more free to so just seeing what's out there because we got here the six of cups is in reverse so it's like that's what i'm saying like not really harping on those past loves um those soulmate connections i mean if it if it happens to be that great fine i just feel like you're just in this energy of where you're not really holding on to some sort of idea around love. You're just being more open and being more free-flowing when it comes to it, which is probably why you're going to have these options. We have, yeah, see, the Ace of Swords, because you have this new thinking. That's why. Yep. This is why you're going to have all these options and you're going to be more open because you've changed your perspective. You've changed your mind. There, are, There's also with this Ace of Swords, there's something coming in that's making me feel as though um, not only did you change your mind, there could have been some sort of information or some sort of insight that you may have gotten that kind of like help you with this new way of thinking that's what i'm curious to find out what brought this on and we've seen the moon card coming through too and then the tower hmm what brought this on something being revealed brought this on to you because we saw the moon and it was a shocking reveal so there was some sort of shocking reveal good or bad or indifferent i don't know but there was something that was like maybe spirit or 
because that's that tower moment, some sort of divine intervention, maybe something surprising that was hidden made you decide that, you know what, I'm going to be more open. I'm going to change my way of thinking. I'm not going to hold back anymore. I'm going to move forward and be open to people. Uh-oh, the moon just flipped over again and then the page of wands. Was there a phone call or a message? Hmm. You could have talked to someone. You could have had a conversation with someone. And maybe this, this could have been like a friend of yours. It doesn't, I'm not talking about when I say have a conversation with someone. I'm just, I'm not talking about a romantic person. It could, that could be it for some of you, but it feels like someone that was non romantic though. Like maybe that person could have inspired you or encouraged you. Yeah, see, here's the phone call. Here it is again. See, and the Ten Swords is in reverse. That's what it feels like putting behind the past, letting go of the past. Slowly but surely and opening up. And I feel like if there is some sort of phone call, some sort of communication. I, mean, I don't know. Well, I want to know what that was about. Or maybe, and here's this moon card coming in again with the tower. And here it is again, the phone call. This is the one that I saw right here. Uh, you okay so for some of you this may not have happened or it will be happening for you you're going to get a shock this this is big this is a tower this is something really major here and with this moon and then this two of wands there is like a secret phone call Someone is going to contact you. And whoever this person is that's contacting you, they're going to give you some sort of clarity. Into something that you may not have been aware of. And I feel like they're going to help you. Because you see how the ten swords are right there? So it's like you're, you're, you're sulking, feeling numb because of all the betrayals and all the hurt. But look, it's in reverse now because there's going to be a shocking phone call. But there's something here where I feel like it's something is going to get exposed. And when this gets exposed, you're going to change your mind around your options and love. I feel like you're not going to be holding on to one specific person or looking in or even looking in the past. That's interesting about that phone call. Hmm. All right, let me get some cards out over here in the tap into your intuition so that you can be aware of the people around you because some of this stuff may be correlated. So I want to start pulling around this energy too. Uh, let me see. What else can you tell me? Uh -oh. Tap into your intuition. Be aware of the people around you. It says someone is not who they portray themselves to be. So you got a phone call where someone is going to give you some clarity about something that was hidden. Big shocker though. This is going to be something surprising. Let's see because I feel like this is all connected. We got a friend. The Three of Cups is in reverse, though. There is a friend. And again, keep in mind, they're not who they portray themselves to be. And with the Three of Cups coming in reverse, this is not um, a good thing. That's why, oh, someone is going to contact you. That's why I'm seeing two and two. There is a group, whether it's two of them, three of them, there's a group here amongst friends or two friends or three friends, two, maybe three. But either way, there's a, a couple or a group of friends or, or frenemies or people that are not your friends, but they're friends amongst each other. One of them is going to contact you. One of them is going to contact you. 
we got the hangman in reverse. Hmm. Yep, the five of swords is in reverse too. Making peace. Whoever this person is that's going to contact you, I feel like this is someone that was trying to, with this fiber, see, again, three of them. There's three right there. And one of them is going to contact you. Amongst the three, one is going to reach out to you. And they may contact you to try to tell you something about the other one. Whoever this person is that's going to contact you, or it could be two of them contacting you. Either way, one of these people or this one person that's contacting you, they haven't changed. That's why it says be wary. Why are they even contacting you? This is someone that's not your friend. Are they contacting you to tell on these other two? There's something here going on. What's going on here? Why are they contacted? Why is this person contact? Look, be gone. Repel it. Why are they contacting you? This, this could have something to do with a man for some of you. Yeah, lonely road. I feel like I don't belong. This could be connected to a man and someone's friend contacting you. Extreme weather is coming through. We got extreme weather. So this is a big deal, which is why they're saying tap into your intuition. If you get a gut feeling about something, trust your gut feeling. Because someone may try to contact you, trying to turn you. See, that's that's why it goes over here. That's why it goes over here. Someone contacting you. This is someone's friend or frenemy contacting you about a man to try to get you to look at that person differently. Because remember, I started out telling you, you're going to have this new thinking and you're going to be more open to more suitors. This is making me feel like if there was one particular person that you were interested in, you're going to change your mind about them because of who go who's going to call you. Someone's going to call you to t expose something that was in the dark and you're going to be surprised that tower. But spirit is warning you over here, tap into your intuition. Be aware of the people around you. Because someone is not who they portray themselves to be. You're going to be at a crossroads. Because I feel like there could even be two phone calls. Two. One from the person coming to tell you about the other person. And then that other, that, that other person being that smart man or whatever. And then that smart man coming to contact you. So you're going to probably be feeling like who is telling the truth. Who's telling the truth? Anything else around this energy? Yeah, someone's trying to turn you against someone. Yep, see, frustrated. You're going to get frustrated and walk away. You're going to get frustrated by this, this extreme weather. Because it's like being pulled into some drama. It's like there's a, some friends or a friend group. Uh, I don't even like to call them friends because they're not friends. It feels like frenemies. And someone trying to contact you amongst that friend group or amongst maybe someone. I don't know who this person is contact, like how they fit into it because it's not going to be the same for everyone. This could be a karmic's friend group. Someone in that karmic's friend group contacting you about a smart man either way someone is trying to turn you against someone and I feel like it's going to work because you're going to change your mind about them in a way of which I feel like you're not going to be so 
like I said, you're, gonna, you're just going to be more open to, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that, but I just feel like your mind is being changed because of this influence. It's nothing wrong with being more open to dating and putting yourself out there, but I feel like it's coming from a place of, you know, this manipulation, a place of being manipulated. Someone calling you to tell you something, even, even if it's true or not, their intentions is to create a tower moment between you and this other person. To create extreme weather. Whoever this person is that's contacting you. I feel like they're trying. There's something about. We got here. Medical. Health concern. Medical attention. Uh, look at here. Scared man, frustrated man. Guarded. Hmm. Hmm. Someone may contact you to tell you about someone's health. Like telling you about their personal business. And that's why I feel like you're not going to know what to believe. You're going to get frustrated. Because someone is going to tell you something that was hidden. Something around medical. Something around health. That's going to shock you. I want to know more. Because there's something here. This this health situation. Furious. And then the hangman in reverse. There's some sort of standstill. Something had been avoided around health. Between this angry woman. And this scared man. What is this about? A soulmate is coming in. And then we got here Divine Feminine. And look, sexually transmitted disease. I thought that's what it was. That's why I grabbed this deck because I saw the fire back there. Someone is furious over an STD. That's what's going to get exposed. That's going to make you change your mind about someone. Someone could have been guarded and apprehensive towards you because of some sort of medical condition. Divine feminine. That's why it says be aware because someone is not portraying themselves. And that's why I felt like you're going to be at some sort of crossroad. Like, do I believe this? Is this is, does this person has an STD or not? Like, you're going to be feeling... You're going to be feeling confused because I feel like this may be someone you thought was a soulmate. Because remember, we saw you changing your mind and that we were, I was talking about not holding on to that because I feel like that's what's happened. Like you're going to not hold on to who you thought was a soulmate because of this phone call that you're going to get. Upsy upset. Divine masculine. Oh, shut up. Someone is going to contact you about that. See, a third party. A third conflict. A third party is going to contact you. Because look, there could have been a pregnancy too. A secret pregnancy. Wow. So that's why you're going to let go. Because they're going to contact you saying that this masculine... I'm not calling them divine. We're not. We're gonna put a question mark on that. That this masculine was got was with someone, pregnancy, soulmate connection, whatever, and health. They were avoiding this health matter, and look, a STD, third party, third party. Tell me what the divine feminine need to know. Let's use this deck. Get away. Needing time away. Didn't I say that, that you're going to get frustrated by the situation and need time away? Let's see. Tell me what the Divine Feminine, that being the viewer, right? Some of you. <laughs> what do you uh, need to know? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus sign. Yep, they got some sort of bad habit. What does the viewer need to know about this situation? Whoever this reading is for. 
We got Aquarius coming in. And that can also symbolize that star card as well. We got here, which is a card around healing and taking time, maybe getting away, focusing on yourself. Because we already saw not being, you know, just, you know, focus on one person, opening yourself up to more people too. Your mind is going to be changing. We got here fake profile. Someone is secretly watching you. There's a fake, someone has a fake profile on social media or wherever. Whoever this person is, this, this masculine, they have a fake profile. This is someone that's going to want a clean slate, a do-over with you. Let me see. Yeah, we got here need external validation. What is that about for you? Because I feel like this person is still tugging onto your energy. That's what you need to know. That's why you got here within this year. There will be reconciliation with someone from your past. AKA this person trying to come back. And I feel like they're going to be watching you secretly. Creating fake profiles trying to follow you. Because they need some sort of validation from you. They still, they still need to know that there's a chance of a clean slate. Tell me about this reconciliation. We got, yeah, see the hermit going within. This is you going within, not talking to whoever this. And didn't I say earlier, changing your mind. I'm not going to focus on just you. I'm staying out of this drama because you're going to get frustrated by it. People calling you. Some of you, these are going to be people, you don't, a person you don't even know exposing this shocking truth to you. So I feel like they're going to be trying to call you, but they can't get in touch with you because you're not talking to them. So that's where the fake profile is coming in. See, you're checking your laptop or checking your phone. They're using private numbers, calling you uh, from block numbers, trying to get in touch with you because they want to reconcile with you. They want to explain themselves to you. But keep in mind, I don't like this still covering up, though, still hiding. Something about that still doesn't sit well with me. With who? With this um, energy here, with this person. Let's see what else is coming through. See the seven of swords. Didn't I just say that? There's some. Let me tell you something. There's something weird going on. Because remember, I said this is about a smart man. Someone calling you. This is making me feel like my plan worked, or whatever someone was doing. Deception. To try to come in between you two. There's something off about this whole situation. And I'm going to do an extended reading. Because that two of wands was not there. It's like who do you believe? There's some deception here. Something isn't right. There's too many people involved. with trying to keep the two of you apart. And we're going to do an extended. We're going to look into um, this masculine energy that's hiding. And they're hiding, trying, like calling you from block numbers. I'm going to get their side of the story. And then I'm going to look into the person that calls, that caught you to tell you this information. Because there's some deception around there. I don't know. I'm going to look at what's going on between the two of them as well. And see what, what you need to know. What you need. If this is someone that you can trust or should you just keep moving. Because you're obviously checking. There's still this. So there's still this wanting to know something here, but feeling hesitant, feeling cautious, feeling like one foot in, one foot out, one foot in, one foot out. We'll look at it over in the extended if you want more. I'll catch you over there. Bye.